Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Deleted. Let's go. Zip Bomber was my biggest failure and always will be. I cannot play Zip Bomber for the life of me. I don't know why. For some reason my brain doesn't work. But this is taking a long while to load. Anyways, um, Zip Bomber into Crypt Locker. Crypto Locker. No red hearts. Corrupted effects are concealed but they provide a damage bonus. Ooh, baby. That seems terrible. Right. <laughs> uh, right, let's just have a quick little look here at uh, what's going on. Familiar that chases enemies and deals contact damage has three stages. Collect red hearts to evolve a total of 15 hearts needs to collect to evolve. I'm going to take this guy because I... I because I can't pick up red hearts. So it seems like the perfect thing to grab, even though I would have liked. Can you attack him? Thank you. Holy sugar tits, you do a lot of damage. My lord, you little red ball of fury. Wow. He um he kind of wrecked those enemies there. Wow. I'm impressed, sir. Oh, you bugger. I don't even know if he, if he would have uh, taken a cell heart, I'll be honest, sir. He doesn't seem to have much... um. It, like, aggression range, engagement range. He seems to like to kind of stand back a little bit, so that's a bit of a shame. But, yeah, I think he aligns pretty perfectly with our goals, considering we can't take red hearts. But, yeah, I think for boss killing and stuff, he's going to be pretty awesome. If we can get, like, the Lost Cork or whatever it's called, the um, the one that increases the creep size, that would be pretty awesome. But, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this little fella. He seems to be doing a bang-up job. An absolutely bang-up job. I'm in a pretty good mood right now, because... Um, <clears throat> Today is just, I don't know, it's its its, it's been a good day. Um, I woke up this morning, and as I kind of spoke about in the last episode, I've been doing some interviews um, recently, uh, and, oh god, I've been running some interviews, and I did another one today, and it went extremely well. The person was, like, exactly who we're looking for. They seemed really enthusiastic. Everything on my side went well. Like, I feel like in the last interview that I did, I kind of rambled a lot, and normally the interviewer shouldn't be the one doing most of the talking. Flesh Kid, can you, like... Get on this guy's ass, please. Why is your engagement range so low? Get on him. There you go. Start doing that damage. I realize he's going to keep moving, so it's not exactly practical to get Flesh Kid on him all the time. But I will try. I wonder if he'll keep his creep at later levels. Yeah, 15 hearts to evolve per level, I think it said. But we can do that. Oh, damn. Can you pick up that Horder Heart? You can! That's like that's like five hearts. <laughs> and we'll take Squeezy as well. I realize we haven't corrupted anything yet. This is a pretty regular run, but that's just that's just fine. Eh, I'm just gonna go normal flaw, to be honest. I think the deleted, I've gotta keep things more basic. Keep things like flowing in my brain. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, for the question of the day today, I haven't really got a great one planned out. I haven't really got a great one planned out. Um <clears throat> If you could change one thing about the way that you look, what would it be? This is a very, a very, um, I don't know the, the word for it. Okay, we'll, we'll bit flip this one. Give me that. Um, it's a very, uh, thingy question. Charged question, but, <laughs> I don't know. I think it could be good. For me, um, I, uh, I don't know. I've got a, I've got a rather large nose. <laughs> I could probably do with getting rid of that and... I'm a bit overweight. I could probably do with getting rid of that, but the, the the weight thing is something that I can change of my own accord. Can you can you grab this? Yes, you can. You you lovely ball of flesh and blood. I love you, my flesh kid. What's going to be his name? Maybe it's just Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Let's go. Yeah, he can't he can't suck in the cell heart. Look, it's not being absorbed towards him. Come on, Ethan. Oh, God. Those candle guys, uh, do be a-causing hella low frame rate. <laughs> Game does not like it when they are about. Where's these bombs? There they are. Good, good, good. Hopefully, hopefully, every single comment is just nothing. I'm perfect the way that I am. <laughs> Everyone should have some self-confidence, but, but, if you don't, <laughs> want something. Yeah, grab it, grab it, boy. Mm, days a day. So I do wonder if that Horder Heart counted as four hearts or if it just counted as one. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, really? Teal guy. I like the fact that they updated the teal um, champions to uh, drop red hearts. I'm pretty sure there's a um, thingy menu for them now, actually. If I go over to... 
it's called better more champions i think it's called something like that <sighs> more champions yes yeah. so, so the spawn okay so you can disable certain types of them and you can set their spawn rate i like that that's nice right monstro you are probably gonna take a shit ton of damage here so good luck to you sir also i have no idea what my corrupted item did Absolutely no idea. It gave me some fire out on killing the boss. I can see that. Um, we'll corrupt that as well. Why not? We still got a spin down shard out of it. I like that. I don't want to check my devil deal. Oh, he leveled up. Yay. Ethan, you're growing up. You're very cute, Ethan. That's that's pretty fast for a level. Two stages for a level. Um, we should be able to get into level three pretty quick. I wonder if he's going to be... Okay, so... He, he still does the same thing, but now he does a spray of shots, and he seems to be a little faster. Might, be have, might have a little bit uh, larger engagement range, too. Overall, it's pretty good. Oh, uh, also, we got the soul converter out of somewhere. Uh, not that that's very useful to us at all, but we have it now. That, that could be a really good trinket, you know, having certain uh, familiars have a higher engagement range. But yeah, if this is what he does at level 2, I can't wait to see what he does at level 3. And that doesn't do anything for us. I didn't think that Soul Converter would do anything for us. I had to check, though. We've got two corrupted items at the moment. It could spell disaster for us so quickly, taking random corrupted items. It, it really could. But it could also be incredibly, incredibly good for us, too. You, you never really know what you're going to get. Oh, damn. That's a lot of uh, pooters you got there. Okay, good. Come on, have a bunch of hearts in this room. You know you want to. You know you want to. Fuck. We still have this spin down shard. That's going to be a very, very fun item for us to mess around with. Um, I, I think spin down shards are one of the greatest additions in terms of consumables. I think that's such a good idea because the spin down dice is such a fun idea. And it's it's yet another one of those things. Isaac, I feel like one of the one of the things that is, it always is with, with Isaac is take it with mods at least. It's taking an idea that Isaac uses but doesn't really accentuate it takes a cool idea and expands upon that cool idea and i really like that and spin down shard is exactly one of those type of things spin down is such a cool idea but it's so limited to just the fact that it's one item but it's cool to see other other ways of um being able to use that okay oh i was just about to settle to my shop but i don't have enough money but now i do uh we got this which spins down into this little greedy boy here um, I would like to see what he does. Collects all coins in the room and keys plus bombs outside of the player's reach. Will use any keys and bombs it collects to open chests. May spawn a shop item at room completion. Any coins it collects will decrease the price of shop items. Um, if it drops by double the value of the coins, will not reduce below one. Sounds pretty cool. Okay. So, we've now got, um, we've now got Ethan and Jeremy. Basically, I just wanted another... I remembered this familiar collected coins. I just wanted another familiar that collects things. Because, I don't know, I find that I find that funny. The story of Ethan and Jeremy on their adventures to destroy the world. Ooh, Lodestone is a fantastic item. I will just take it. Lodestone's one of those items that I see a few people don't like because of its randomness. I love because of its randomness. Okay, these guys have uh, eaten some souls. Ethan, attack. Thank you, Ethan. It's taking your sweet, sweet time. You can't possess each other, you fools. But yeah, any pennies that are on the floor on any hearts that are on the floor are no longer ours. But you take care of that one. I'll take care of this one. And Jeremy, you just kind of do your thing. You just kind of... Bimble around. Oh god, I got hit really hard there. Please be a balls of steel. And it's a pins and needle. That doesn't really do much for us, but thank you. Lodestone away. Lodestone just effectively gives you herming. It's fantastic. God, he is wrecking up things right now. Ball of bandages is definitely a bit flip one. Um, we got a placebo pill. It's pretty nice. We also got monsterance here. I'll take monsterance. 
Good er. Uh. We dropped soul converter on the floor. We could then bit flip soul converter, I guess. For more damage. Like I said, the effects are hidden, so we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. It could be very bad. <laughs> but we do not know. Uh, now the placebo pill's on the floor. Remove it now. I guess I could just keep taking this. If that's gonna keep happening, I'll just keep taking that, I guess. But yeah, we won't know what happens until we get some rooms cleared and some enemies killed, because they're kind of some of the common effects. Room cleared being one of them. Do I need to destroy those little hatch things you spawn? No, I don't. Good. But yeah, placebo pill could definitely be pretty good. Okay. See, there's a red button here. I'm not really sure why it's there, to be honest. That seems a bit strange. I'm not going to complain too much. God damn, you are absolutely killing it, my boy. Ethan, you are a soldier. Also, our damage has gotten to pretty good levels now. Because we've taken a lot of concealed effects. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what is going on here? They've, uh, they've got stuck behind this wall. That's not good for us. Oh, God. He threw all of his little bees at me. I don't want your bees. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. There's a soul heart. I'll buy that. Why not? Um, ooh. -hoo. Look at these two teaming up and helping the, each other out. How kind of them. How kind. It's very nice of you two to get along. I'm sure Ethan appreciates it muchly. These guys didn't get killed by a death card. God damn. Um, an additional mini boss room will generate on every floor. That seems pretty good to me. We do have some salsas in our... Uh, is that salsas? Is, what the hell is that item? I think it's salsa. It looks it looks kind of like a box of salsa. I don't know why salsa would come in a box, but... Are you going to take that bomb? I thought you took bombs too. Maybe not. Isaac's heart. I think we'll be bit flipping that one. Isaac's heart is not on the uh, train today. Especially considering, I think, um, Ethan... Would get pretty jealous of, a, of another heart-based creature following him around. Um, ooh, this is potentially incredible for our good little fella. We just need to find an appropriate room. And Ethan can become the true, the true god of this Isaac playthrough. He's gonna be like, it's gonna be like uh, Junkin from um, Into the Gungeon. Okay, so we have a random enemy spawning every so many seconds while in combat. That's not great. That could spell trouble. Wait, is it when I kill an enemy actually? It might be when I kill an enemy. We'll see, we'll see. Have that little penny, you fella. Okay, I haven't found anything this floor that works for it yet. Ow, I knew that was going to hit me. Just a battery for sale for you. We've seen our item room. We've got the frail here. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Lots of random enemies spawning. Not entirely sure why. Okay, I think he's leveled up again, because he's firing herming shots now. But he doesn't visually look any different, I don't think. Oh, no, no. We've just got thousands of baby benders. Flakes of gold is really good. I'll take it. Yeah, we just got thousands of baby benders. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. Right, uh, next floor. I'm still a bit worried about our current HP. Right, large room with a lot of enemies, please. Remove. Give me that for some damage. I will crack these open, why not? Yeah, having Baby Bender here is quite nice. Thank you. Not super crazy, the herming on it, but still. I'm not quite sure what's spawning the additional enemies.
Okay. Okay. We need to be careful because my health is getting awfully low. Get out from behind that rock, you fool. Oh, I just bought a pill by accident. It's a lockdown as well, you shyster. We got some red rooms here for some reason. Are oh, these our mini boss rooms? These are extra generated mini boss rooms. They are, and it does work when it's gold and give you two mini boss rooms by the look of it. That's nice. Oh god, are we gonna have a lot of enemies spawning here? I don't see. I don't know what the trigger is for spawning extra enemies. It doesn't seem to be on kill or anything like that. It seems to be pretty random. Oh, for God's sake, dude. Man, health is not looking good. <laughs> Need to be very careful. We got another one of you, okay. Take them out one by one, don't split all of them up at once. A little too risky if we do that. Good thing is it is a random enemy though, so we're not always going to get hard enemies. That was pretty cool. Unfortunately, nothing great from it, but that was pretty cool. Right, we need to find a way to get more HP very, very quickly. Okay, we've got first big room here. Secret room here, maybe? Yeah. Just another mini boss. Eat it all, my fat, fat boy. Although, give me at least five cents, I can buy a soul heart. You can have the rest. Okay. This was a big enough room to do this in. Eat, my child. Eat. He is leveled up. Ethan has become god. Do you still eat hearts at this level? It doesn't seem like it. He has grown from simple boy to god. Look at his little wavy arms. It's beautiful. Well, this... This is a dirty bed, so I don't... I need to check, because I, I can never remember. Dirty beds don't give you the soul hearts, do they? Oh, they do. Okay. We also got bed bug. Nice. I'm guessing that's just a random chance when you uh, sleep in a bed to get a bed bug. Pretty cool. Right. Come on, Jeremy. You're, you're lacking behind. Ethan's blazing the trail. Right. So what, what's, what's the new thing that this guy does? Oh... Uh-huh, so now he has the abilities of both versions of him by the looks of it. He has a head that just kind of slides around the room, and the body that still does the chasing aspect. Bursting sack for one penny. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Jeremy. This is good. This is good. I like our little lad. The swarm for five cent. Yes, I will take it. I'm trying not to risk this run too much, I'll be honest. What else is left? Uh, how did I manage to walk past you? I don't even know how that's possible. You just somehow slipped me by. Soul heart there, very lovely. Do, 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 do. This is depth one, so let's just do the boss now. It's good, sir, the fat boy. Right. You are getting annihilated, my good sir. Not a good day for you at all. I'm going to take that as a random. Why not? Let's carry on going back and seeing if we can get ourselves. Um... Ooh! I kind of pushed that brimstone guy into myself. We need to see if we can get ourselves an um, item room. Oh, Lord. That is not the sort of enemy you want to be spawning. 
Neither is that. Fuck me. Deadly. Absolutely deadly. We still haven't found a good pill to use with our placebo pill. I think we did find a luck up at one point, but I completely forgot we had the placebo pill. So, boo me, I guess. Gone. Yes! I was like, can I roll that directly into the, the, the rock to use it? And I can. We do have a brimstone ghost in here. I just walked right into that, but don't worry about it. What's done is done. I didn't even kill him. Okay. Just need to find our item room A. There you go. Shop is also another one I'd like just to try and buy a soul heart, but we'll see. Oh god, he jumped right on me. I didn't even notice that was coming. Go, my little fellas. You're beautiful. You're also beautiful. Thank you for this. You also dropped the Celestial Berry. Ooh, a one penny off being able to afford that, so let's try and get it. I'd like one penny, please. Um, I'm going to bit flip that one. That was not a good choice for me, was it? I'm hoping that's just a one-time thing and not now an every time I take an item sort of thing. Because that is pretty horrendous looking. Come on, give us a penny somewhere. Hey, this could give us a penny. Be generous, be generous. That's not generous. That's bullshit. Fuck you. Um. Um. Damn it. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Oh, I've got one idea. I've got one idea. I know where I can get a penny. I want my celestial berry. No one will forgive me if I don't buy the Celeste reference. You motherfucker! Damn it! We are going home poor. Very big sad. Right, next floor. No one will ever forgive me. But we are doing a fantastic job right now. And yet again, we get to bit flip this for more damage. Not getting much damage from that one, though. Maybe it's diminishing returns if you pick up the same item multiple times. Which would be a weird thing to pre-program, but I guess it makes sense. Because I'm getting a lot less damage from you now. Gotcha. Ba -bum -ba -da -dun 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 -dun. I don't know what was giving us all of our baby benders, but we've not had one in a while. Dude, this room wasn't built for you. Fuck. This room was designed with a very specific clientele in mind. Wait. Oh, you're over here as well, I see. Right, take out the champion one first. I love having this insane level of swarm going on around us right now. Very hard for us to be hit. <clears throat> we have a fly army. Who's left? We just keep spawning more and more enemies of varying weirdness. And the amount that they fit the room that they're in is always, eh, not great. Right, you don't eat hearts anymore, do you? No. Be cool if he still ate hearts and could give you rewards, but he's doing a good enough job as he is, aren't you, Ethan? Get in there. Kill that, kill that fat sir. Oh, I walked directly into a fire. He is just sitting on that fire. He don't give a damn. I took a lot of damage in this room. It scared me deeply. To my core. No, it's just that I'm stupid. It has nothing to do with scare factor. It's just that I am dumb. I'm walking to a fire. Because I wasn't paying enough attention to what I was doing. 
That is essentially all that's happened there. And same same thing happened there as well. Let's 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 try and not be as gooberous as I'm currently being. Um, doubles the amount of keys we have. Yes, please. Um, three random bomb pickups. Yes, please. Ooh, two of them were golden bombs. Double our keys again. Yes, please. Okay. That worked out pretty nicely. Not that I'll need all of these, but it's nice to have them. There's another soul heart. Thank you. Come on, lump. Get him, Ethan. Get in there. Beautiful. Here's our mini boss, our additional mini boss. And there's our, there's our second one as well. Is it always just going to be this guy? If the other one's this guy as well, then I'm inclined to believe so. I think we get spoon benders on killing bosses. Oh, it spawned a void portal. Or did that spawn the void boss? No, it's just a portal. Just a portal. I love the redesign on those guys. It looks so good. There's all sorts of wacky shit going on in this room. No one really knows what's happening. Hey, we got forever alone. Bit flip that bitch. That's a lot of golden bombs, baby. That's a lot of golden bombs. Oh, we also got a bunch of divine interventions as well, which is kind of nice. It'd be cool if it, like, had a separate cooldown for everyone. Ooh, now we're getting this eye item with every uh, kill as well. This is a good item. It's a quality four, so... We've also got a holy poop following us for some reason. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. It's beautiful, but it's confusing. Right. Good, good, good. Okay, I think we're pretty much set unless we screw ourselves over with more corrupted items, which I'm definitely going to do. We seem to be gaining one of these things like every single time we deal any damage to any enemy. You're just ahead. He's just ahead. So no head. Dude, stop popping up behind the barrier. I can't kill you correctly back there. It's foolish of you to not want to die. Yeah, our entire page is just full of this one item now. We have quite a few items. By the soul heart, yes. Oh, I love the little inky buddy there. That's cute. That is cute. Right, if the item room is back over there, I ain't going back for it. It is. I'm not going back for it. It's way too far to have to walk. God damn it. I don't know why, but the music is just so, so popping every time. I love it. Right. Down to the womb. We're doing pretty well on this run. Damage is still a little bit lacking, I think. We could do with a little bit more, but we're about to get more, even more here. Let's let's this time pl uh, take the placebo pill version, because it's going to give us more uh, damage. Beautiful. Bomb thrower guy. No giga bombs, please. Okay, we're getting all our spoon benders back. That's from killing the boss segments, I think, there. Oh, that's a bit tricky. So many enemies spawning after other enemies. Okay, we don't have anything happening on activating our space bar by the looks of it. Ooh, I love the guy the way that these are like womb colored now. I really appreciate it when mod mod developers go the extra mile to do stuff like that. Like if they're gonna use a if they're gonna use an enemy on multiple floors, they give it its own skin for the respective floors that it's on. Ooh, this is not an easy room. We also found the boss extremely quickly there. Wow. Be careful of our current HP. All right, get ready to get a lot of, a lot of baby benders here. Ethan. Attack! My goodness. That was 
That sure was something. I need the HP. I'm just going to take this. Angel Deal, what do you have for me? Circle of Protection's pretty good. I'm going to take that just because it looks good with our uh, Monstrance. We've now got, like, the double Halo. We've actually we've got the triple. We've got the Ring of... Got the <laughs> it, we look like an absolute god here. We've got, like, the, the Ring of Flies around us, the, <laughs> the glowing ring, and then the larger Monstrance ring, too. I love that. Also, I don't think that, um... That HP up gave me any soul hearts. I thought it would have converted into a soul heart, but apparently not. Good, good. Crack that open. Three keys, not that we need them. We got 34 now. But yeah, I'd, I'd say this run is definitely still in jeopardy, just because of uh, how low my health is. But otherwise, it's going well. Damage-wise, I think we're kind of okay. Like, we don't have any disastrous uh, problems, um, sort of coming from the randomly selected uh, corrupted items. Normally, by now, you'd have something absolutely game-breaking as this guy, so... This is not too bad. There's a half soul heart. I'd like to have that, please. Okay, some herming shots coming in from over there. God damn, Lodestone is saving our ass right now. Is that not all of them dead? Ow! As if that hit me. No way. Okay, there's still two more of you over here. I heard a heart drop in there, but I'm not sure what type it was. You bombed yourself, you fool. Congratulations. Right, what heart was it? Ah, bugger. Not the one we're looking for. Thank you for the one cent key. Didn't really need that, but thank you. Really cool idea for an item, to be honest, because it's like, you want to give him all the money he can get to get the cheapest items possible, but you want to make sure you keep enough money for yourself to buy the items he gives you. It's a good back and forth between Jeremy and I. Ethan's still doing a, a fantastically fine job, which sounds like a diss, actually, now that I think about it. He's doing a very good job, I'll say that, because saying fantastically fine kind of sounds like a backslap. Kind of sounds like a backhanded compliment. Okay, you can only ever fight Envy. It's only ever Envy. Now I have to see how this, uh... I have to see how this works. Nothing. It's supposed to turn all of our hearts into, um... Burn hearts filled with rotten hearts. Didn't do anything. I expected as much. I like the way Death Head spawned there just to die. The Bumblebee. Oh my lord. Okay. Very, very high chances of death coming in here. Holy. That is a very good item that we cannot afford. But yeah, I'm getting hit so much for contact damage because I can't really be hit by shots. I'm just a goober is what I am. I want enough money for Jacob's Ladder, but there is no way I'm getting it. Okay, good. We got rid of all the annoying enemies. Secular Protection's helping out a bit. Swarm's probably going to get absolutely taken over here. Luckily, we've got Lodestone to help us out with the hard attacks. Not hard attacks, the hard attacks. Another item. It's Rogue Planet this time. Oh, look what item it is. <laughs> Do we want the uh, Devious Lick? No, I think we want the Anchor. The Anchor's really good. Basically means the enemies just can't move very far. Still think I'm going to die, but... We can herp. We can, we can surely herp. Delete that. Ooh, we got the triple curse as well on this floor. That's not good. 
There's a rare chance that with one of the mods I have, it bugs out. Oh, God. I took damage there. Um, there's a rare chance that uh, it bugs out and um, you get three curses on one floor. And it's happened. But don't worry, though, because this music slaps. And that's all we care about. All we care about is the slapping music. No hurst. No thank you. We got a chub head. Just 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 ahead though. He's very bouncy. He's kinda hard to kill actually. Oh, we got a teal one in the middle here. We got him. Having the have I grown up here is going to get me killed, for sure. I can't see anything. All the chains are so small as well. The triple curse floor is kind of fun, though. Seeing these curses interact with one another. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. They pulled that anchor over a pot and revealed a crawl space to me. That is something I can be pretty thankful for. Look at him go. Book of Mormon. I can get the halo of flies here if I want it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, we got Beelzebub from that at least. That's pretty good. Not super useful in itself, but Beelzebub is pretty nice for us. But yeah, lots of enemies respawning, lots of enemies turning into champions when they shouldn't be champions. Don't worry, because like I said, the music is popping. Please, Soul Hats, please. You fuck! How could you do this to me? You knew that I wanted, and you just... You, you ignored me. Specifically when I told you not to. Man, I'm getting a little bit sick of the constant invincibility totems. Minimis, it is time for you to flourish. Fly. Fly unto the enemy. And to destroy them. What the hell is that cube? I don't know, but it has herming. Freezer, baby. Tears up is pretty good. I can't remember what these guys do and it scares me. They do something bad, I think. I have a feeling a spike rock is going to get the better of me. That was the clutchest shit we've ever done seen. Just so happened to spot a double tinted rock. And instead of giving a small rock like it should have done, it gave us bloody four soul hearts. How clutch is that? We can use bombs while Lodestone's active here because it'll just suck them towards. Damage-wise, we're doing pretty decently. Oh, really? I can't believe I got hit by that. I never get hit by that attack. I normally know exactly where to stand. This time, apparently not. Yeah, we got him. We still got good health. Do not worry. We can still do this. With 38 keys, we can open up anything the game throws at us to. He's opening the chests for us. Luminary flares, fantastic. The rest of these, I think we can take a chance on. Take a chance on me. This is an annoying room. 
Don't chase me. Okay, we have to take zero from something now. This isn't too bad. Health up. Didn't do anything there. God damn it. Um, our mini map apparently is gone. Uh, just because of the curse. I thought I thought something else had happened there. Ooh, not quite sure what's going on here, dude. It pushed me directly into the fire. Are you kidding me? Revenge is kind of. Oh no! I didn't see the button there. I didn't see the button. This is not fair. I did not see the button. Whew. Lordy, lordy, that was not how that was meant to go. Okay, Luminary Flare is doing a fantastic job right now. Big props to Luminary Flare. What cards in this room? Oh, it's just that. It's that's. It's not a card. It's a stone. Photon. Why not? Good. Speed run's also really good. It's both not so good when rooms can spawn additional enemies though. Double the reward there just for some pennies. What the hell spawned now? There's another enemy about. There it is. Let me out. Ooh. Okay, we don't like this room. This room's got a lot going on right now. Luminary Flare, just keep going off. Help us out. More enemies means more chance that other enemies will spawn, so... Not so good for us. Also, the sound of the chains just breaking constantly is kind of hilarious. We actually did it, and this is the boss as well. The bluest of babies. Don't worry, blue baby. I have you in my sights. Wow. We managed to pull through. Beautiful. We got the double chest. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.